Join our hosts as they adventure out on the WorldCat 400cc X, a center console catamaran platform designed for handling choppy seas with ease, with enough space and amenities for the most adventurous fishermen and their families. The WorldCat 400cc X has an overall length of 39 feet 8 inches, a beam of 12 feet 8 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 1200. Designed for comfort and capability while offshore, she has a draft of 21 inches, a dry weight of 14,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 604 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. At long last, we've been waiting to see this boat for a long time. Finally, the 40-foot center console from WorldCat. And we've got a special guest today. You all know this guy. And I noticed, Rick, you waited until we were on a giant boat to join us for your cameo this season. Well, I had to wait for a boat that was good enough looking to make me a brown-eyed handsome man. That's what I needed, and I think I found it. George, ever since people have been building boats, space has been a compromise. If you got room for this, you have to cut some room out of that. If you want one of these, you have to give up that. I think the coolest job around is designing the interior of the World Cat 40. You never have to hear there's no room for that. There is room for everything on this boat. Now, Rick, you said there's a lot of advantages to having a big boat, and that goes along with putting bigger features in, but there's a lot more to it than that. Having a boat this size offers you a lot. Let's address first the size of this cockpit. Well, first off, this cockpit reminds me so much. In fact, this is a 21st century sport fish boat. And oh, by the way, look at the beam. You can have two guys working this side, two guys working this side. Every bait is fresh and ready to go all the time. Now, Rick, we're comparing the World Cat 40 to a big sport fish diesel inboard boat, but one thing a boat like this is not going to have in common with that boat, and that's going to be the outboards on the back of it, and that can be a problem. A lot of times you're going to run into a situation where you'll have an issue here. World Cat has come up with a really cool way to deal with that. Let me show you. Now, there's something that you're going to have to deal with with any big boat that's got outboards on the back of it, and that's dealing with the engines while you're fishing, and more importantly, while you're fighting a fish. Now, WorldCat has come up with a really cool solution to that. This is an actual platform that you can walk out on and fish around, and it takes you from one end of the transom to the other, and more importantly, it'll take you back here in between the engines and allow you a lot of flexibility when it comes time to move a live rod around the back of the motors. Now, as Rick said, one of the things that this much space affords you is the ability to put big features in the boat. Why don't we dig in and take a look at some of these features he's talking about? When I talked about having room for everything you need, this is what I was thinking about. How about a 60 gallon oblong live well? All right, it looks almost small in this boat because you've got so much room, but it's got a high volume pump with a huge outflow. It'll keep all the baits alive you'll ever need for as long as you need them. They got plenty of room to swim around, but if that's not enough for you, let's go look at the other side. Now keep in mind, you could have a second 60 gallon live well over here, but for me, I'm a dedicated dead bait fisherman. Man, I love pulling my ballyhoo. What a dream area this is. Not only can I rig and have everything here for the sink, this is actually a refrigerated chill box to keep your baits fresh. You never have to take your eyes off the spread. You got a bait, it's in the water and ready to go. Hey, if you're gonna do any trolling off of this offshore beast, let me tell you something, not only is this a great seat, comfortable, got the cooler underneath it that you can reach a cold drink from anywhere in the cockpit. But what's most important to me is it's facing aft. That means you're gonna be watching the baits all the time just because of the way you're facing. You're gonna to wanna to be sitting right here. All right, Rick, check it out. Picture we're driving along and you've got people seated forward. A Couple of people can sit right here you've got these two chase lounges on the outboard sides. Now, if you want to spread out a little bit more and have a little bit more room to relax and get a suntan on these seats, move these like this. How about that? Double wide sun lounge, armrest for two or for one person that really wants to spread out. But also consider the amount of space that it opened up right here to walk up and work a fish. I mean, it's going to give you just a little bit more room on the gunnel to work a fish while you've got the seating up here too. Let's slide these back, Rick. You know, another thing to consider too is, is that, as we always say, whenever you put seating in above the deck on a boat, you create an opportunity. 
And the opportunity is for what? For more storage. Of course. You got storage here. You've got plenty of storage under here. But look at the giant storage compartment you've got there, not to mention the center console, which, oh, by the way, opens from the front just like they all should. And there's a head inside there, too. So, I mean, that pretty much sums it up for the family. You've got everything you need up here for a day out here just relaxing on the water. Now, something we certainly can't overlook on the 40cc from WorldCat is performance and the ride. Now, the helm experience for the driver is really nice on this boat. I'm a fan of a center-located helm position. We've got three large MFD screens right here. A nice tri-panel enclosure right here will keep you out of the weather. Now, something that really jumps out about this 40cc to me is the fact that she's powered by only two engines. A boat this size typically is going to require more than this. It's one of the benefits of a catamaran-style boat. This boat runs like a champ with two Yamaha 425s easily going up into the 40s and jumps up and goes just as fast as I ever want to go on a boat. And for me, not having to worry about four motors to service every 100 hours makes a big difference. It's something noteworthy and also something you should consider when you're going to purchase a boat this size. Can I get away with two motors? With this model, you certainly can. Well, Rick, you picked a good boat to come back for your cameo on here on the WorldCat 40cc. Why don't you give me an overall impression of the boat? This WorldCat 40cc has room for everything or everybody you'd ever want to take with you.